Hello, I am Matthew, author, artist, and commentator, and uh, somebody who can't speak. Uh, and these are my offhand remarks on positivity. So, um, I absorb a lot of media, a lot of information, study the Bible daily, uh, and more. Um, I don't mean more than daily, because that's impossible, but uh, I study the Bible and extra biblical text daily, uh, is what I'm saying. And, uh, well, something funny, you know, I'm also trying to be an artist, develop my craft. Um, Justin Brubaker, who used to work for DreamWorks Animation on uh, Kung Fu Panda and uh, Captain Underpants. Um, sorry, that was my bad Justin Brubaker impersonation. Um, he talks, uh, he says something at the end of his videos that struck me today. Uh, Luke Radowski of We Are Change also says this. Uh, when I used to listen to the Force cast, and they probably continued on to Rebel Force Radio, which I quit a couple years ago, um, uh, <laughs> just to keep up my lightweight SJW cred there, um, I quit over a, a Leia, Slave Leia controversy thing. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, they say this thing too, or, or they used to, like I said, at the end of their episodes, and... Uh, I've heard it from some other people, and I've always thought it was strange, and, uh, I, I, well, anyway, this video is about positivity, but I think you can be positive and critical at the same time. These guys say I love you at the end of their stuff, at the end of their content as they're signing off, and, uh, you know, love you guys, you're the best, whatever, like, okay, that's, uh, it's a little much for me. Uh, it's not something I would do. Um, you know, in my little end card thing, I always appreciate thanks for people spending their time with me or, or, you know, using their time to listen to what I have to say. And I really do sincerely mean that. But, um, I'm not going to tell you I love you. You know, I love my wife. I love my kids. I love my barber. Um, that was, never mind. Sorry. We just watched Spider-Man. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, the, the love thing is funny. Um, and it's just kind of something, uh, it's not something I'm going to struggle with. Um, I just think it's a funny thing that people say to, you know, strangers and, um, uh, Actually, I was, uh, uh, I stopped myself from listening to uh, a B&L CD on my, I, I have a six disc changer in this car, which is unbelievable. Like, I never would have imagined I would have a six disc changer. Of course, I'd rather be able to have uh, Bluetooth to hook up my phone to it, but uh, hey, here we are. I guess if I ever check out an audio book from the library and I plan to go on a long car uh, ride in this car, I can put in multiple discs and just listen straight through, which could be kind of cool. Anyway. Um, um, uh, boy, boy, boy. Oh, there's a song. Um, I think it's, uh, maybe Katie. And they say, I don't know everyone you love before. Or well, I do know, whatever. I know their names. I recognize them on the street, but I don't love them. Um, so like love is a funny thing. Uh, just ask DJ Spicy Ice. Love's going to get you. Um, but I don't know the, the declarations of love, uh, seem not inappropriate, just kind of strange. And, uh, I recently, um, I'll just talk for another minute and then I gotta go. I was, uh, right after Last Jedi came out, I was working on stuff, seeing a lot of things that Still, um, Still Saunders was doing with his, uh, TM content, and, uh, he, uh, anyway, I reached out for, to him because I wanted to do this thing talking about all the things I love in Star Wars and all the things I don't love in each movie, and maybe even, like, Clone Wars, Rebels, whatever, because I've got issues with Rebels, even though there's a lot in it that I like. Um... And, uh, you know, I decided I was going to go with roasting Star Wars and toasting Star Wars, and I put all this work into it, and I never ended up doing it because I need to watch the, I want to watch the movies and have them fresh and just, like, kind of tick off things. And that's something I still feel I want to do and I can do, and I'll do it in fun. When I'm roasting it, I'll be doing it in fun, not because I'm angry or mad or I hate it or anything, because I don't, because I love it, otherwise I wouldn't be spending my time on it. And even, um... In finishing G Gundam, I uh, there's a, some funny line reads, and I love the dub; it's great. But there's some funny line reads. Rain, you know, when Domon's calling Rain towards the end, and it's like, wow, that's like, you guys went with that. And the voice actor does so much good in so much other areas of the show. But I just kind of want to. Uh, I thought to myself um, about talking about it, and even oh, I'm bringing it up here because I I think there's a way you can talk about things like that that are off that you kind of that give you pause. Um, and that maybe could have been done better, 
Um, but you, maybe you just lovingly accept those things and embrace them and say like, yeah, it's a quirky little part of this thing. It was kind of a failure, but uh, I still love the thing overall. So I'm going to enjoy it and just take it as a funny thing. A uh, funny aspect of this otherwise, you know, really well done show or, or whatever. Um, so I kind of want to do that and hopefully my content doesn't get boring. Because uh, I don't want to be one of these guys who's chasing the the, me um, the meme. <laughs> my wife and I share memes. So she's the meme mistress. Anyway, um, I don't want to be chasing the algorithm all the time uh, because I'm not trying to make money on YouTube. Uh, I mean, I would love to eventually, but... I'm doing this as a creative outlet and just as something fun uh, to kind of keep moving along uh, while I'm working on all my, my other projects. And, uh, and it's just something I enjoy too. So um, I'm going to try to be positive, like extra positive about stuff. Like I was even thinking about watching Black Panther and doing like a Black Panther revisit because I did um, a shadow font on it. I'm touching my heart. A shadow font on it. Um, but uh, I've kind of changed the shadow font format, which you'll see shortly with the Yu Hakusho shadow font coming out. Um, and there's going to be a Gigundam one after, which will be cool. Um, but I kind of want to just say, like, hey, this is Black Panther Revisited, and then maybe even do Solo Revisited, because that should be coming out. I'll probably buy it in the, within the next couple weeks. Um, and uh, I know that I think that could be interesting. So, anyway, um, take care of yourselves. Don't curse the darkness, shine your light. Um, Maybe be positive, and uh, anyway, thanks for listening, give me your time, and uh, be well, folks.